Hey everyone, this screencast is going to show you how to create um, a student ePortfolio in Google Drive uh, without uh, requiring a great deal of technical skills um, either for yourself or uh, students. So I guess before I should, or before I start, I should uh, make sure that I have some stuff that I'd like to add to my portfolio. So you can see here in Finder, I have um, just put a couple of folders together that I might throw some um, uh, work samples into that I want to share. I might throw some photographs or videos or any of the above. Uh, really, there's no restriction as to what kinds of files that you can put in here. And most of them uh, Google will render and display natively, so it makes it very easy to, uh, to show this. Um, you can add individual files, you can add folders. Um, I find it's just a little bit easier to build your folders and, and sort them offline, but there's no reason you couldn't just create folders in Google Drive and do the same thing that way. So I'm going to go ahead and select my two folders, and I'm just going to drag them onto um, my web page. Um, you'll notice that I'm using Google Chrome here. Um, Google Chrome is probably your best bet for working with anything Google. Um, the drag and drop, for example, is guaranteed to work when you're using Google Chrome. So I'm going to let go, and you'll see momentarily it uploads my two files for me, or my two folders for me, and of course all the contents within it. Now, although uh, it's handy to be able to share examples of my work, really the point of portfolio is to reflect on that work and to, um, to talk about why I chose certain objects and to, uh, and to um, basically act as a, a log of my learning. So to do that, simply creating a bunch of folders is probably not enough to really build that sense of a personal portfolio. What you're going to need is a uh, cover page um, or some kind of a document that uh, acts as a launch pad that will display all of your content and uh, allow you to reflect and talk about that content as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new document here. So I can do that by clicking New and choosing Google Docs. Um, Right now, I've already put this into a shared folder, but typically you won't get this, uh, this prompt. Um, so it creates a Google Doc, and I'm going to change the name of that Google Doc to Doug's ePortfolio. Maybe put start here, so that somebody visiting will know that that's really the document I want them to uh, have access to. So I'm going to press OK, and now I've got just a blank document. Now before I get going, there's two tools that I'd really like to add. Um, both of these tools um, you only need to add once per account, so if you walk your students through this process once, it will be available on all future um, logins to Google Drive. So all they need to do is under add-ons, they'll see, they might, they probably won't see all of these because these are add-ons that I've personally added, but at the bottom they'll see two buttons, get add-ons and manage add-ons. Get add-ons is to take an add-on and bring it into uh, Google Drive, which we're, we're going to be doing. Manage add-ons is if you find you have add-ons you don't really need, you can get rid of them. So I'm going to go to get add-ons, and there's actually two add-ons that I need to bring in for this to work. One of them is Kaizena, and the other is um, a tool for selecting uh, folders and documents uh, and creating links to them. So first of all, I'm going to add the Kaizena, so K-A-I-Z-E-N-A, -E and press search, and you'll see Kaizena Mini is right here. Uh, Kaizena is a tool that allows you to select text, and then using the microphone on your computer, record a reflection or record feedback, or record whatever you want to record, that uh, will play back when a viewer clicks on that same uh, bit of text. So I'm going to hit uh, Add, plus Free. It's going to ask for some permissions to do this, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Accept. And then it tells me in that little brief window that uh, Kaizena is now on my add-on menu. 
Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to go back to my add-on menu. I'm going to grab one more. And this one, I'm just going to do a search for folder. And the, the one I want to choose is called Link Chooser. Obviously, if you just type Link Chooser in here, that would work as well. And I'm going to click Add as well for that. It's going to ask for permissions, not as many because it doesn't do as much. And Accept. And what Link Chooser does is it lets me actually embed folders and files from my Google Drive into this document. So really, um, this is the only place people would need to go to. So I'm going to click uh, Close on that, and I can go ahead and get to, uh, ready to set up my portfolio. Typically on a portfolio, of course, you want to have... Um, Maybe a picture here. I'll uh, grab, I've just got a standard picture onto the side I might bring in here. I can just drag that on. And maybe uh, some comment like, um, you can also, within any Google uh, document, if you click on that picture, I can change it from being in line to wrap text, and you'll see that the entire text will now wrap around it. And of course, you can put to your table of contents, you can put uh, descriptions, you can actually write a full resume in here if you'd like. Um, although I would suggest that would probably do better to sit in a uh, folder. But now what I want to do is to actually link to some of the artifacts that I've posted. So for example, I might say um, best Maddox's work. Probably the students would be a little bit more um, uh, specific with that, but um, this will work for now. And then underneath, um, I might even actually add maybe as a bullet something that says my personal reflections. Okay, so now it becomes clear to the visitor that you want to actually share some mathematics work and that there is a personal reflection that's going to be stored here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my best mathematics work. Oops. I'm going to go back to my add-ons menu, and you'll remember that Link Chooser was the name of the program that we installed that will allow me to browse my Google Drive. So if I now go to Select File or Folder to Link, now I can just browse my, my folders in Google Drive. So I'm going to go under ePortfolio. There's my math stuff. And uh, here's, um, it's not math, but uh, here's what let's pretend is our, uh, our math exemplar. So I can go ahead and select that. And now you'll see that where you've got my best mathematics work is now hyperlinked. And in fact, a visitor could actually click on that and uh, it would pull up the document that you, uh, that you link to. And what's nice, whoops, what's nice about that is now when I close the, uh, the window, it takes me back to my document. Now when it comes down to the reflections, um, this is where uh, Google Drive can become very powerful. So before I talk about my reflections, I am going to go under my add-ons again. And you remember we also installed Kaizena Mini. And there's a little box here that says Open Kaizena Mini. And so when you click on that, it actually opens up this little program in the sidebar, in the margin. The first time you open it, it'll ask uh, whether, well, anytime you open it for the first time on a document, um, you can check whether you're giving feedback or receiving feedback. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose giving feedback because I'm actually reflecting. It may ask uh, whether uh, you're a student. Um, typically, the first time you open it, um, it'll give you a list of anyone that has access to the document. So for me, I just want to send this to myself. So I'll go ahead and choose myself. And then I hit continue. Now what it says is use your mouse to highlight a part of your document to the left. Then click new feedback button to leave the feedback. So now if I highlight my personal reflections and choose new feedback, watch what happens. 
Um, by the way, you may get a prompt asking you whether you have permission to use a microphone, so obviously do set allow. Um, it allows you, first of all, to tag. So maybe this might be tagged with numeracy or shape and space. And you can put as many different tags in there as you like. The other piece is I'm going to press the uh, microphone here and I'm going to actually speak my reflections. So I can go ahead and choose start recording. And now I can say this work was uh, chosen because I really like the color of it and it was a good example of how well I'm doing in math. Obviously, again, the student's going to uh, speak a little bit more clearly and eloquently than I just did. But once you're done, you just go ahead and press the stop button. And in a moment, you see it says processing. It will change to a play box. And what's really nice about this is that play box is any time I click on a, uh, on a link. So you'll see all of my highlights shown in the same box. And I can go ahead and press play. This work was uh, chosen because I really like the color of it. And, and you can actually record multiple recordings. You can delete recordings. You can see there's a little X box right there. And um, it just makes it easy to, uh, to do those personal reflections. So that's basically all there is to creating that portfolio. Obviously, a student would spend more time and make it look uh, more impressive than uh, I've done here. Um, the other part, of course, is at some point you may want to share this with a teacher, with mom and dad. And so the very first thing that I would do once a student set up their folder is to just click on the plus sign for share ePortfolio. And then you can choose who you want to share it with. So it's uh, for school division addresses, as you know, is, uh, for example, mine is stevensd at gm.fsd38.ab.ca. And I can set that as uh, only, I can only view. Um, and you can change that for different people. Um, I've also got that anyone in Foothill School Division with the link can view. Um, if you want to be able to do it that way, you can just go ahead and choose Get Shareable Link, and then just go ahead and fire that link to anybody that um, you want to have access to this portfolio, and they'll be able to open it just like a website. And that's about it. Um, if you have any questions on this, uh, feel free to fire me a, an email. Um, I will say that uh, for younger kids, rather than having them create the folders, um, what I would suggest is probably an easier way is to create, create the folders and um, have them, uh, have them um, post, um, or, sorry, create the folders for them and then share them to the students. Um, if you have any questions, like I say, um, feel free to ask.